I uh, pulled it up to the top, a clip we can all enjoy. Yeah, this is so great. You know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the last time he was on Joe Rogan, they got into a bit of a rift. And this kind of happens a lot with Neil and Rogan. I don't know if people have noticed this. I certainly have. They um, disagree on some stuff. And you could see there's like a shittiness in the air where it like Joe gets personally offended when him and Neil disagree. And I think the last time Neil was on, Neil was talking about like commenters getting to him and just like, why do you even bother with that? And like putting Neil down and kind of being dismissive towards all of Neil's thoughts. And I think Neil is just passive aggressive enough and just smart enough to actually plan a passive aggressive vengeance on Joe Rogan. I think we're about to see that here well, today. Also, a little while ago, he was getting super frustrated with him for interrupting him so much. Yes, let's watch what Joe happened last time. And a lot of people call him Black Steve or Slappy the Fro, Fro Afro Man. This is what I call him to me. He's nothing. No, I like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is a really, you know, what's interesting about him. And I don't know if everybody saw this side, but Neil has a very petty side to him. Very petty. He gets into it with the haters on Twitter. He's uh, extremely petty and, um, you know, vain and uh, gets picky about things. He'll dig his heels in. And it's all real subtle. Here's his clip from uh, the last time. It says Joe Rogan interrupted. By Neil, I like when people call him Neil Tyson instead of Neil DeGrasse. People are doing impressions of you in the chat now. Someone goes, Neil DeGrasse Tyson, he's a slave, a slave to the cosmos, Mike David. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he is a slave to the cosmos, to Venus. I'd like to see him burned up by the heat of another planet, of course, <laughs> not by the arm of another man, a fellow man. Clearly. Yeah. All right. Let's see what he says. He's he's not a slave, guys. Oh, they're saying that's something that you actually said. And oh, they were it's actually a quote from me. You. I thought they were. Oh, really? I said that you. Neil is a slave, a slave to the planets. I thought they were doing an over the top. Yeah. Joke of what you would say. It says more but about here, you, actually. It's a real quote. All right. Check this out. This is from last time. Let's see if they got into a little heated beef. We place great value on that. Whoa. So, but it's not our land. It's we, you know. It so was, specifically, <laughs> these things have to Europeans take place. didn't come to Hawaii and find find legions of scientists there conducting experiments. Legion okay, they found native peoples governing themselves. So, so, so that's that. Uh oh. We didn't cancel cars. We got really innovative about I how think to keep there's them. There's a big difference between cars and human shit that's left <laughs> in the side of the mountain. <laughs> This I is the shittiness. I mean, Joe Rogan, like, takes it personal, and they have this awkward vibe during their conversations where they don't agree about AI and alien. Alien? Alien. So um, I think Neil actually is one of these guys. You know how, like, we wouldn't do this, you wouldn't do this. Most people wouldn't do it. There are some people who devise a plan and get back at people passive aggressively through tiny little things. So let's keep watching this old clip and then we'll show you the new one. The real problem too is I think it's- If you value busy. mountain climbing and you wanna keep doing it, then you f solve the problem. This is what engineers do. That's they would have to have a mountain of battery sitting there waiting for people to just come in and- take Is that any worse than a out? mountain that, than, a, than, a, than a sunken <laughs> reservoir tank of gas? That's no different. Why, why is that any Nerd different? argument. Probably be larger volume, right? Possibly, but so what? And literal Joe can't really... They really clash when they're together. And Joe gets really... You can tell he's getting heated inside. If it's economic, you just do it. Right. And you if the battery's the all at the bottom of the car, and you, it's going yeah. NASCAR, mm -hmm. you run in, pop it up, mm -hmm. <clears throat> take out the battery, put the next one, you're off. Did you Dude, you're old enough to remember when oh, I got to look up this word in a dictionary and you get through six other words. Oh, I never knew that word. Let me read that. You learn. That's a sharp suit. I know where he got that, too. David Lucas's father's funeral. He took it off the corpse. Look at that fucking suit, man. That tie. Yikes. I can see why Joe's starting to get fed up with this guy. 
in his afro. That poof. Are the words en route to the words you're targeting? I understand. Okay, but so that's, you... that is how I Ooh. feel. You see Joe's face? That's how I think about my interaction with this world. I like the randomness. Love the audio. The randomness of it enriches my life. Yeah, yeah. I found those like uh, cloaks that people Ooh, wear. He's fat out. Seems like video tricks. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, that, that seems like fuckery. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of. But like... but in Harry Potter, the the, the, the what's that cloak that they wear? The invisibility cloak. That would be this principle. Yeah. If it existed, it, 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 with that. Um, there's a bunch of videos of that, but it seems like they're just using After Effects, like Adobe. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. to... mm. Adobe. Okay, Adobe. Yeah, he knows all about it. Now Neil probably saw Joe rolling his eyes. Yes, and of course. Getting overly irritated. Well, because you think, you know, only Joe Rogan's stupid enough to forget how awkward the interview was and invite somebody on again to have round two. Whereas Neil, this was as clear as day. He felt the feeling in the air. And he's like, Joe Rogan's inviting me on again? I thought last time was a disaster. <laughs> So he comes on again, and instantly Joe falls into his own ways. We're going to open Spotify. Uh, hopefully this works here. This is very tough to do. We're going to open this in the Spotify app, and we're going to watch this instance, which I think is a passive-aggressive comeback to all of Joe's abusive behavior towards... Kind of tape measure. All right. So Neil Tyson. Are you... Wait, 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 wait. Five... Stop, 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 stop. Okay. We're going to pull this up. I am uh, terrible at working Spotify. It's really hard. You should go to like a Spotify user training program <laughs> before you start airing Spotify on your show because it really is tough. I need to take a class uh, for sure before I get into this. So let's expand. And here he is. And what's our first time code here? Um. We're at 7307 right now. You could go to 7140. That's there the only time go. code. Yeah. 7140 and uh, 7126 is what I could do. Watch Sounds this. Fine. Light showing. No, but that assumes that things are either true or wow, false. Wow, very dark. And that's right. just not true. That's not the, the something. Actu the actual world is way Jesus, more when nuanced. She's flashes to than Rogan. That. It's yeah. right. a so, Yeah. So unintended deception. So, for example, I can think something is true. Right. And what what you're basically saying, not to put words in your mouth, is that everyone walks around with a lie detector in on their forehead. Yeah, that's a bad idea. This, uh, that's a bad. Well, example. you just said this, and I'm I know. Good. All right. Yeah. So everyone has a lie detector, and if I think something happened, even though it didn't, then I'm telling the truth. I'm telling you my own understanding of the truth. Which is a problem with some people and you with some stories, right? You like, can't then indict me yeah. for that truth being wrong if that's how I saw it. That's like the umpire. That's how I called it because that's how yeah. I saw it. The umpire's not being evil. That's just what they saw. So that's one problem with that. Another one is there's so many things that are... And that's what makes the world interesting, I think. Um, is So you want, you want a, a, an example of... Uh, where the truth is nuanced, um, I'm trying. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I, I'm just telling you that in almost every case I where someone wants to turn a question into a binary answer, yes. they're not do. They're doing a disservice just to ask. human intellect. Just do it to the to the real world that's out there. Uh, I, 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 I'll give you an example. So, uh, how tall are you? Uh oh. Oh, Are y'all really? doing sober October? <laughs> I'll give you an example. How tall are you? <gasps> Joe always knew this moment was coming. <laughs> How tall are you is now being asked scientifically <laughs> on his show. How awesome are the planets now? How awesome is our solar system? Thank you, solar. Thank you, Yuna. Thank you, Infinity. <laughs> Ooh, Infinity is beautiful, by the way. Ooh, the body on Infinity. Uh, you're now scientifically under the scientific oath. <laughs> A scientist has now come on to Joe Rogan asking. And I want you to hear this one more time. Just click uh, the 15-second back Oh, button. yes, of course. Then I'm telling the truth. Watch. 
I'm telling you my own understanding of the truth. Which is a problem with some people and you with can't, some stories, right? You like, can't then indict me yeah. for that truth being wrong yeah. if that's how I saw it. That's like the umpire. That's how I called it because that's how yeah. I saw it. Yeah. The umpire's not I being evil. Far, that's yeah. just what they saw. So that's one problem with that. Okay. Another one is there's so many <laughs> things that are... And that's what makes the world interesting, yes, I think. Okay, come on, Jesus. Um, is, so you want, you want a, a, an example of uh, where the A scientist asking Joe. Um, uh, I'm trying, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I, I'm just telling you that in almost uh, every case where someone wants to turn Jesus a question Christ, into a like, binary answer. I swear answer, that she just asked this. They're, not do, they're doing a disservice to human How intellect. Go back oh, a to, the, to the real world that's out there. Come on! I uh, swear. Uh, 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 I swear. Every coming. time you rewind it, he's longening this by adding stuff on the fly right now in real time. <laughs> How is this possible? I swear. Okay, here it is. A scientist is now on Joe Rogan, asking him this. Give me an example. So, how tall are you? How tall are you? You scientifically have to answer and watch this. It's so funny. You, you have to click the back. You know, Joe Rogan's height has been, it's all people talk about. You know, he knows this. Every comment section is height related. Every time he's brought up, his height is also included in the bring up. Um, for Joe Rogan to be asked his height, he is so hyper aware of this height thing that when he hears the word, when he hears, Hi. He automatically has this phrase 5'8 loaded up and ready to go. Watch how quickly he says 5'8. A binary answer. They're not do they're doing a disservice to I hit the human seconds. intellect. That's it. To the to the real world that's out there. Jesus, that 15 seconds uh, I, is I, a mile. I, I'll give you an example. So uh, how tall are you? 5'8. Five 5'8. Eight. Five eight. Okay. Now he is fucking fuming. What is this about, Neil? You know, but he can't say anything. He'll give it away, right? So, how tall are you? And Joe's like, Hi, babe. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, there's something going on. And I think Neil actually is crafty enough, petty enough, passive aggressive enough, and smart enough to devise this. Just watch this. Uh, I presumably you measure that with some kind of tape measure. All right. So, are you five seven and three quarters? It's probably closer to that. Ah! Guys, this has never happened. Joe has just admitted to being five seven. Yes. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the only buddy. I mean, you're either stupid or you know exactly what you're doing. He goes, how tall are you? 5'8". Is it more like 5'7 and 3 quarters? <laughs> Maybe. Because he's got to take the scientific oath, you see. He can't lie to, to a, a scientist. scientist. This is technically a study. This is a study. You can't f uh, fumble these studies. You can't... Uh... And look at his face right here. I mean, really, look at the man. What the fuck are you up to, Tyson? What the fuck are you up to? And, you know, he knew this day would come. He always knew. So, technically, he's fucking 5'7", which can be narrowed down. We could round down to 5'5 five five now. You know, he was living in this beautiful, tall Tom Cruise world of 5'8". Kanye, him, Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah. Plenty of success in the 5'8 world. But 5'7". <laughs> Comes with a whole different list of rules and regulations, Joe. Uh, five seven is fucking minchkanic, and now you're five five. Now we could say five five without it being an exaggeration. We used to call you five six. That's when we thought you were five eight. <laughs> now that you're five seven and three quarters, you might as well be fucking two feet tall, like a toddler. That's bad. Height is very important in this world. Let's see how he gets out of this one. Okay. I'm shrinking. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so you, maybe you're five, seven, three quarters. So shrinking. Are you five, seven, and one sixteenth of an inch taller or shorter than five, seven, and three quarters? I don't know. We'd have to bust out a tape measure. Oh, well, 
well, we might have to then. You're very worried here. You know, you're being scientifically Imagine drilled. If he did bust out a tape measure. I know, and then it reads like five, one, and a two. The tape measure starts having a fucking party on its own inside of the fucking measurement. You know, things, this is as bad as it gets. So now, okay, so let's say you are within that. But wait a minute. The line that identifies a 16th of an inch itself has Uh a width. Mm. So he can't concentrate on any of this right now. In the width of the line that you're using to report how tall you are. So we're giving rough measurements. Anytime you give a measurement of something, it can never be exact. But you get an understanding of it, like go a mile down the road and then take a ride. Keep playing it for a sec because he says something Okay, but if I have a truth serum and I say, was it a mile? No, it was one and an eighth of a mile. But what if you get to a mile and there's no right turn? Do you just shut your car off and starve to death? Or do you go, let me figure this out. It looks like like 30 more feet, I take a right. It's a mile and 30 feet. Okay, I'm not going to nitpick. I'm just going to take a right a mile and 30 feet. Your brain, red light, green light device would say the person was lying. Yeah, that device sucks. Okay, forget, okay. forget I came up with that idea. All right, all right. I was just trying to say. My my thought was just eliminate purposeful deception. Like wow. if you if you knew someone was lying to you, con artists, Ponzi scheme people, someone's You're trying to fuck friends. you over. If you knew, if you could be clear that what this person was doing is they're not really going to make you a lot of money. They're trying to rip you off with a pie in the sky idea. Okay, you know Eliminate what device that deception. is? You know what that is? What? There's a device. It's called logic, and- science, literacy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. How to know when someone else is? I, in fact, I just I just tweeted we that can't recently. Bail that. Well, science literacy coming up for God's I sake. I don't know if I missed it. I- All right. Well, there it is. Uh, grilling Joe over his technical size. Not very good. This really put Joe in a bad mood. Uh, we hope. Um, but very, very funny. Did the part Neil... that I was thinking about where he was like, when you're measuring a mile, even the marker that marks the inch of the mile yeah. has its own measurement. There you go. So, Joe, keep Is living in this 5'8 fantasy. It's never going to happen. You're 5'6, Joe. And, yes, you are shrinking. But for him to have to look in the camera knowing. That everybody, their main thing is this shortness with him. That must have fucking killed him. Really. And he's probably figuring out a way to get back at Neil.